Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a real-time plan with me in the weekly section of my Hobonichi cousin. It's always a mouthful to say. I'm very excited because I am wanting to test some new drawing techniques. It's very simple, so I think um, if you're feeling adventurous, then I would encourage you to try as well. I'm going to use my usual pencil board just for the left side. Um, it is actually Tuesday today. It is... Tuesday the 14th, and I will explain why I didn't plan yesterday on Monday. But as always to start, I will be working on the sidebar. Here I'm using the Tombow Fidenoske brush pen in the hard tip, and I'm just drawing in my usual graph tracker to mark in my work hours. And the pen that I'm using is the Energel Clan 0.4 refill in the Sarasa dry casing. Again, there's no reason why I'm doing that. Um, one day I was just curious if I, I could fit the refill in a different pen and it ended up working, so that is exactly what I did. Okay, so that is my sidebar done. Literally, that's all I do to set up every single week. And I fill in the hours and the highlights as the week goes by, which I actually haven't um, finished for last week. This is a better example. Okay, so this is my idea for the technique that I was talking about. Usually I do something fun at the top to set the theme for the week, and this week I plan on using some colored pencils to draw in some florals. I'm only going to do so for Monday and Tuesday, and then for the rest of the week I'm just going to use washi. First I'm using the Pablo Karen Dash colored pencil, and I'm going to draw just a swirl. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So this is going to be like um, little roses, but it's very simple. And then I'm also going to go in with my Faber-Castell Polychromos. This is just a different shade of pink. So I'm going to do three on each side, I think. And then I'm going to go in with my Tombow um, dual brush pen in 761. And I'm just going to color over it. Just to add some dimension, I'm also going to use 772. And I will pick one to make it slightly darker on each side. And then I'm also going to use um, this green from Karen Dash. And I'm going to draw a little, like the stem of the little leaves. Also using a heavy hand. And then you can probably guess, um, I'm going to use 076, my choice of green. And I'm just going to color over the leaves. The key is to pick a color that is significantly lighter than the colored pencil that you're putting down. Ah, oh, I think that looks so cute. Just quickly wrote in Valentine's. And then I am going to finish off the rest of the week with the classic Emoti's washi tape. Um, I want it to be just like very light and simple, so... I thought this would be the perfect washi to use. I'm gonna just use a little bit on Wednesday. And then we will continue on to Thursday. I am very pleased with how this looks and I'm feeling very excited for the rest of the week. So the reason why I didn't plan yesterday as I typically would is I made yesterday my personal Valentine's Day. I basically took myself out on a date and I also filmed the entire day for you all as like a journaling vlog. So that video was actually the one before this one. If you watched the video, you would have seen that I started the day off with some work and then going to the gym. And then I did a quick stop at Shoppers Drug Mart just to pick up some snacks. Ooh, one thing that I do want to mark on the sidebar, we got a huge washi tape delivery. And if that's not a highlight, I don't know what is. So let me write that in. And I'm really excited to show you all of the new designs. So the first thing that I did was go to Dario's Cafe to do some sketching and people watching. So I'm going to put down this coffee emoji. 
So in my head, I did plan out the entire day of what I wanted to do, um, like all of the self-care items. But then I didn't really want to restrict myself, as in like, oh, I can only spend one hour at this place. Like I truly wanted to do everything that I wanted to do. So I stayed there for a bit, and then I'm going to put down this spring working emojis. It has a little daisy, which I think is so perfect. I got Subway for lunch, and I replied to emails. After that, I went to the library. This is a sticker from Fox and Cactus, and this is a sticker from Randy Plans. So, um, I stayed there for about two hours, and I was reading Dead Wake, which is a book about the sinking of the Lusitania. So again, this is like one of the more rare cases where I write down what I do after the fact because there's no way that I would have known that I, I felt like spending two hours at the library. Okay, so then after I got home, I caught up on some work. It wasn't like a completely work-free day just because it honestly would have been a bit unrealistic if that was the case. And I honestly didn't mind at all because I was feeling so refreshed from just taking some time off to do the things that I love. I replied to some emails, and then I also arranged the production. Then in the evening, I decided to cook my parents a special dinner as a Valentine's Day treat for them. So I made some onigiri, which is uh, Japanese rice balls. And then I ended up watching La La Land. So I'm going to doodle in a popcorn bucket. I do have stickers for these, but I feel like making some doodles. And then I honestly worked for a little bit way too long. I ended up going to sleep at 3.30. That's one of the things about taking time off, especially if a lot of the things you do, like you actually have to do them, like you end up just having to stay up later. But I don't mind at all. So once again, I replied to emails. I also edited the daily journaling blog. And then the last thing that I did was doing some revisions for a production. And the reason why I skipped a line was just because the video editing took about an hour. So I wanted to just like leave some space to indicate that. Okay, so we're finally on to today. Um, as you saw, it's around 7, actually approaching 8. I did wake up a little bit later today because I slept so late last night. I definitely didn't get enough sleep though, so I will try to sleep earlier today. But I plan on working to around 9.30. Yesterday was super fun, but like going from my house to the cafe to subway and then the library and the walking home, uh, it was a lot of walking, so I don't feel like doing too much um, lower body stuff or cardio. Okay, after that, I am just going to be working, and I will likely work until dinner, to be honest, so dinner is typically around 7.30. Let's mark that in. So this is going to be a very long work block. I will be doing a lot of different things, though. So after being away for a while, I like to check up on emails again. All right, and then after this work block, I I will be doing some more work after dinner. Um, just some administrative stuff. Uh, I want to get things organized for like when I'm going to be posting sneak peek photos for the anniversary. I like to do this just because um, I don't want to end up with a bunch of products that I need to cram in terms of like uh, posting on social media. This is a cute sticker from Fox and Pip. Um, just using it to mark a hopefully cozy reading night. So that is today done. And I'm actually going to come back later today to plan some of Wednesday and Thursday. So I will be right back. Hello again. Uh, I, I changed my shirt, but um, we are still on Tuesday the 14th. So um, I just wanted to get some work done before I continued planning. And it is currently the afternoon. I want to plan for tomorrow and then a little bit of Thursday if I have the time. So um, tomorrow I plan on waking up very early. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. I have several big projects going on and I could really use like an extra hour in the morning to work on that. 
I also want to prepare some posts for um, anniversary sneak peeks and also my Thursday's new release post. By the way, I'm drinking a cold brew. As I mentioned, I am trying to limit my caffeine intake, so I literally measure out one cup of cold brew, and that is all I'm allowed to have. All right, and then after that, I will be going to the gym once again. I'm gonna go into my emoji binder and grab one of these work from bed stickers. Okay, well, I'm not actually going to be working from bed because with my setup, it's impossible to design from bed, but I just really like this cozy sticker. Um, and what I'll be doing is working on listing photos, mostly for new releases, but a little bit for the anniversary as well. And I will be making a post on Instagram. So I do count those things as work because it's part of, you know, TCMC stuff. But um, the next block of work is going to be some very different stuff. All right, wonderful. As a little break after dinner, I think I want to make a very hefty process, process, progress in the book that I'm reading. So I am just going to letter in that, that I will be reading for a few hours and then I will continue with work after that. And then before bed, I probably just want to catch up on some emails once again, pay some invoices, go over proofs, stuff like that. My mom's calling. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, yeah, they usually come in during the night and, you know, typically you would probably respond in the morning, but I like to approve things as they come in so that we can get things started. I'm expecting two product proofs, so that is very exciting. All right, so that is going to be my evening tomorrow. And I'm not going to plan too much of Thursday, but I do want to put down the bases. Um, Thursday, I, I don't have any reason to wake up early, so I will just put this down a little bit underneath my usual routine. A lot of you in my previous um, plan with me said that you didn't mind that I, I basically do the same thing every morning. Uh, so yeah, if you have any anything that you do absolutely every day, let me know. I'm curious to know what it is. Like for me, it's as soon as I wake up, I reply to emails. And that rarely changes in my plan with me. Um, I might have some other work to do, but I won't fill that in for now. And then for Thursday, I plan on making it a lower body workout day. And then I'll probably stop by shoppers just to pick up a few things. And then the rest is pretty variable, so I'm not going to fill it in right now. I will come back likely tomorrow on Wednesday to fill in some of Thursday and Friday. So, I will see you soon. Hello, it is now Thursday morning and I'm going to continue planning for this week. Okay, so after going to the gym, I'm going to put down this working emoji sticker because um, we were running into some order fulfillment issues, so I need to manually set up an Excel file later today. I actually had to do this yesterday as well. Um, so today should go by a little bit quicker since I know exactly what I need to do. Okay, and then after doing that, um, that counts as work, but I will continue with my usual work. So today I want to post a sneak peek of um, the snail mail subscription. I also want to finalize the sheet protector graphics and then sort through the new washi cards. And then I think in the afternoon until dinner time, I will just be reading. So I'm going to put down this adorable book emoji. So I will be reading Frankenstein. Oh, I finished um, Dead Wake. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. So I moved on to reading Frankenstein. I actually started reading Frankenstein last week, but to be honest, like the writing, it's a little difficult for me. Like the sentence structure and stuff, I'm not very used to. So I, I need to read very slowly and very intentionally. So even though I started last week, um, I felt like I wasn't really 
retaining anything. So yeah, I'm going to restart it this week, read it very, very slowly, and um, also write down stuff in my reading journal so that I retain things a little better. Yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but like certain classics, it's very difficult for me to comprehend. Like I will, I will read the words, I will know what the words mean, but then like as a sentence, like it doesn't register in my brain. I don't think it makes me stupid, but I, I think I just need to take some more time to read. Gonna end off the night by packing some Shopify orders, probably just for an hour. I, I will probably have a rest day from the gym because, um, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. This is my fifth day in a row going to the gym. So it's about time for a rest day, which means I will likely be working all morning until lunchtime. Tomorrow, I am going to be working through a lot of Excel spreadsheets, hence this sort of uh, overwhelmed paperwork emoji. And then I will be replying to emails, gonna edit some of this video. I probably will finish off the video on Saturday though. Gonna put down this important sticker from Randy Plans. I need to film a new sticker binder cover design reveal i'm curious whether you prefer i either like cut off or speed through the writing portion or if you still like watching me write even if i don't say anything okay so after a very intense uh morning of work i think i will likely do some reading I'm gonna put down this glasses sticker from hello petite paper and then this library day sticker from Randy Plans once again. Yeah, I think I will bring my laptop to the library. It's about a 40 minute walk. So it'll be a nice exercise as well. Um, so I will do some reading and then I will also reply to emails. I think that'll be a very lovely afternoon. And then after that, um, it is going to be basically new release prep for the rest of the evening. Um, I decided to limit myself and not go crazy with this new release because we do have my 7 year shop anniversary on March 5th, which is so crazy. So let's see, uh, I probably want to sleep a little earlier on Friday just so that I'm not like loopy while doing new releases. So yeah, this is going to be new release prep. Gonna try to get through some of this list today as well. So I mostly need to double check shipping setup because um, we are selling the sticker binders and sheet protectors and those require, um, those will likely require boxes. And then I also need to schedule the posts. All right, hopefully I can sleep early on Friday. If not, I will just tack more on at the bottom. All right, and then for Saturday, I will be waking up very early to work on new releases. Probably do work until around 8. I'm gonna go to the gym a little earlier on Saturday so that it doesn't like cut too close to when new releases are supposed to be. So, as always, I'm gonna reply to emails and double check new releases. At this point, it's like quadruple checking, but I write double check anyways. New releases is going to be at 12 uh, Pacific time. And I usually like to be active for about three hours afterwards. So let's do, let's do three and a half hours. Typically like responding to comments, emails, all of that. I'm going to put down this happy little emoji because new release days are good days. All right, so I think this is all I'm going to do for this planning session. I will be back maybe tomorrow or Saturday to finish off planning Saturday and Sunday. Hello again. Uh, it is currently Friday the 17th, and as you can see, it is approaching 10 p.m., so it is quite late at night. Um, and I do want to explain a little bit of what's happening here. I think I planned this yesterday. Um, basically, I was supposed to 
a have a rest day from the gym and basically just work until the afternoon and then in the afternoon i planned on going to the library to do some reading um however i just had a completely different okay maybe not completely but i just had a different sort of morning and i felt like um my spread no longer reflected my day so this is what i did i took just like a really simple sticky note and i trimmed off the emoji end and cut it down to size perfectly for the column and i basically just wrote on top the actual things that happened the top part of the sticky notes are already sticky so that's fine and just to hold down the bottom i put down a little sticker but like most of it's on the sticky note so it's not like permanent anyways the reason for this change was um my sister and her husband decided to come over for dinner today and also stay over so that kind of just caused a change in my day and i don't always like meticulously ensure everything that i write down is perfect um it just so happened that this entire chunk was inaccurate so i felt like i wanted to cover it up so anyways i worked in the morning i went for a run which was not supposed to happen um and then i went to two grocery stores which again wasn't supposed to happen i did end up working on some other stuff and then instead of going to the library i just read for about an hour and a half yeah after that um my evening is pretty much the same i I'm just currently taking a break from doing new release prep, but I will continue after I film this video. I know that was a very long explanation, but I just wanted to give you guys some ideas in case you run into one of those days where things just don't go according to plan. Again, we're currently around 10 and I plan to sleep at around 12. Um, I do foresee I will be able to finish my work before 12, but honestly, like, I'm not having a very good mental health day slash night. So I think tonight I do want to stay up a little bit later and do some journaling and also reading and adding entries into my reading journal. I know that um, getting an extra hour or two of sleep will definitely help me, but I my brain is just like nonstop right now, so I don't think I will be able to sleep. And this is without coffee. Coffee is not the culprit to blame currently. Um, but anyways, I do plan on just like doing some me time stuff later tonight. And then moving on to tomorrow, I don't think any of this will change. Here I want to take a photo for Instagram. And it's actually going to be a photo of this spread. And it's going to include the new releases. And then um, we're going to do new releases and then after new releases you guys know the drill it's typically just gonna be replying to emails typically the initial emails that come in um i want to get through them as soon as possible in case there's anything urgent then i can take care of that um sophia's working on this day so that is awesome she will help me with emails as well and then i'm gonna put down this little happy emoji to mark in that i'm gonna give my friend a call we have both been pretty busy this past week, so um, I foresee there will be a little bit of catching up to do. And then I'm putting down this little package um, sticker from Paper Kumako to mark in that we will be shipping or starting to ship the February snail mail subscriptions. The snail mail subscriptions, they go out in envelopes and not packages, but I thought this was cute anyways. They just start shipping on the 18th. Um, not all of them will go out at the same time though. Again, that does count as work, but I mark different work separately because otherwise I would just like write work here and then draw an entire arrow all the way down to the bottom, which wouldn't look very interesting. So I think tomorrow I definitely want to sleep early or so I say basically every single day. I will likely continue replying to emails. Um, this will take up most of my evening, just because new releases, we typically incur just hundreds of emails, so definitely we'll be doing that for quite a while, and then I will maybe pack Etsy orders just for an hour or so. Obviously, it's not going to be anything substantial, but I, I honestly just love packing orders. I think it's very relaxing, so um, I don't mind ending off my day with that. And then 
planning for Sunday again. I'm not gonna plan too meticulously. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Oh, I think I spit on my planner. Oh my gosh, I'm just making it worse. Okay, well, there's that. Okay, so Sunday, um, don't think I want to go to the gym on Sunday just because, again, I've been... Yeah, it's been like an entire week of going to the gym straight, which I don't typically like to do. Like, I really enjoy going to the gym, but I do know that rest days are important and I really have to remind myself not to skip on rest days or else I won't be able to perform very well. So Sunday, definitely no gym. Today was supposed to be my rest day, but I just I just wanted to run. So typically the day after new releases, I will also have a lot of emails to respond to. By the way, I'm talking very quietly because my sister and her husband are um, asleep. It's only 10, but they're both pharmacists and they have a very early shift tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna write down what I will be doing in regards to work apart from emails because I basically do that every day. And then after that, I want to read and journal. One thing that I forgot to mark in is my YouTube videos going up, which is this current video. That is always exciting. And then one other thing that I definitely know I want to do on Sunday is just a really nice shower and spa night. So I typically shower at around 9. And by spa night, I just mean like doing a face mask and actually putting on body lotion because I'm always just too lazy to put on body lotion. That might have been a bit too much information to share. But honestly, like just keeping it completely real with you, oftentimes like I just have no energy to put on body lotion. Like it won't take more than a minute, but I think a lot of people who struggle on a day-to-day -day basis will understand just like not wanting to put on body lotion anyways enough talk about my body lotion issue um this is basically it for my spread i again left sunday pretty much empty just because i will likely fill this out more on a saturday evening when i know better what i'm going to be doing the next day let me quickly connect the dots Oftentimes, I'm too lazy to get out my ruler to connect the dots, so I just draw the dots and then I connect them at the end of the week. And then typically on Sunday evening, before I start planning for the next week, I will write in whatever other highlights that I might have thought of. So that's it for this video. Um, I think this is a rather chattier one because I wanted to explain better my planning process. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!